This program is designed to provide general information with regards to the subject matters covered. This information is given with the understanding that neither the hosts, guests, sponsors, or station are engaged in rendering any specific and personal medical, financial, legal, counseling, professional service, or any advice. You should seek the services of competent professionals before applying or trying any suggested ideas. Brian Fashion Movie Reviews and more, and we're back. Well, we never really went anywhere, except the Tennessee. And so we're live on Top 4 Media, K4 HD TV, radio, and podcasting, and streaming over on 100 mm-hmm. outlets around the world. So we got Rachel Roberts, Chef Rachel Roberts from Houston, Texas, and she has a lot to talk about. Howard Wiggins from Tennessee, and he has a lot to talk about. Tosh, got Tosh from Miami, <laughs> Florida, and she has a a lot to talk about. Non-stop Terry with me, and I have no idea what I'm going to talk about. And the one and only, so I like this. It's about sound vibration. It's about relaxation. It's about being that relaxation expert and technologist when it comes to healing your inner soul, being calmer, anxiety, depression, what everybody in the world is going through. He's an inventor. And Craig, you've done a lot of things out there. The one and only Craig Goldberg. So, Greg, I want to have you jump in. Talk about how you did this and talk, talk about that chair. That chair is interesting. Yeah, so it's sitting behind me. I wish I could sit in it. I haven't found a great way to harness that while I'm live. First of all, it's an honor to be here, Brian, Howard, Rachel, everybody. Thank you for having me here and uh, really honored to, to chat with your audience and, and share a little bit of this wisdom that I've been able to pick up on. Over the last six six years to life is what it feels like. But uh, relaxation is the name of the game for me. I led a very high-strung life. I grew up in New York. I lived in Manhattan for 10 years. I pretty much ran on empty for, I mean, that, that entire city is run on uppers and coffee and caffeine. And, and I pretty much just shot my adrenals and I needed to relax. So I got out of the city. I moved west and I started to really look into how we can live a truly healthy life and finding that balance focusing on sleep, focusing on relaxation. And then eventually I found sound and vibration and the power of sound and vibration to help to calm and reset our nervous system and to take us out of that fight or flight, that that nervous system response called sympathetic nervous system response, which is associated with stress and anxiety. And so many of us, myself included, are walking around in that stressed and anxious nervous system state all day long from the time we wake up until the time we go to bed. And, and we could talk a little bit about what happens in that nervous system response and why it's really so detrimental to our health. And I started to look for things that could help me to relax and to help me calm, uh, calm down. And at the same time, were enjoyable and pleasurable. It didn't really feel like they were a drag. And vibroacoustic therapy, which is a mouthful, vibroacoustic vibration and acoustic is sound. So sound and vibration became something that I really honed in on. And I began to study the science of sound and vibration, otherwise known as vibroacoustic therapy, which is nothing more than uh, specific frequencies and their impact on our physiology. So I started to hone in on specific sounds and sequences of sounds that can really help to, to literally calm down our physiology at our core. I just wanted to bring up a question because I'm a fitness competitor. Um, I've been... Um, in the fitness world since 2014, I've done several shows. I've placed in several shows, and I, I really want to know more about what you have to say with the adrenals because the adrenal glands, um, stress hormones, cause cortisol. Yeah, they they keep you from losing weight. Um, and that's why sleep is so important in fitness. I mean, because people don't really realize that your overall health has a lot to do with sleep. Has a lot to do with stress. Your body, even if you're dieting, exercise, you can still hold on to weight. And so I would like you maybe to kind of go into a little bit more on that, 
how can yeah. help you with your, your oh, just your overall fitness and, yes. and your adrenals. So a couple things on that front. First of all, all of your hormones, the adrenals, anytime you're walking around in a sympathetic nervous system response. So for those that aren't familiar, it sounds like it's overly complicated. It's really just that fight or flight response. And so many of us are walking around in that fight or flight response all day long. And fitness competitors are no different. Mr. Olympia is happening here in Las Vegas. I'm heading over there this weekend. I have friends that bodybuild. I'm, I'm involved in that space big time. And our tech is a big part of their recovery. You're putting so much stress on the body, even if you're not bodybuilding, just going to the gym, just being a mom or a dad. I have a two and a half year old. Let me tell you what she does to my stress levels throughout the day. Not even on purpose, right? So... When you're walking around in that stimulated nervous system response, um, your body is starting to pump out cortisol and adrenaline throughout all of the veins in your body. Now, this is naturally supposed to happen when you're, I use this, I live in Las Vegas, so I use this example a lot. You're walking on the strip, it's late at night, you're the only one that's on the strip, and then all of a sudden this creepy guy starts coming up behind you and you start to notice it and your spidey sense starts to go off. That spidey sense is the sympathetic nervous system response. It is a defense mechanism that is designed to fight or flight, quite specifically. Um, if you're in a life-saving or life-threatening scenario, it's a good thing. That adrenaline, that cortisol makes you more uh, present and more aware. Your, the adrenaline starts to pump more muscle, uh, more uh, blood and circulation of the major muscle groups. Great if you're bodybuilding. Great if you're at that competition. Not great for day-to-day. The cortisol mm -hmm. and the adrenaline that are flowing through your uh, your veins, it does a couple of other things. It turns off your mm -hmm. immune system response. It turns off digestion. So specifically for bodybuilding, it doesn't matter how clean or how good your mm -hmm. diet is. If you're in a stressed and anxious nervous system response, you're not absorbing any of it because your digestion is turned off. And most mm -hmm. importantly, it turns off rational thinking. So even though you're making decisions, you're not making rational decisions. Um, when you're in that sympathetic nervous system response and cortisol and adrenaline and your adrenals are, are pumping, you're not, you're really ill-equipped to handle the day-to-day -day trials and tribulations that we go through every day. So when I found sound and vibrations, specifically our sound lounge, which is our biggest piece of equipment, um, inside it is something called a tactile transducer. That's what this is. They're made specifically for us. Mm -hmm. There's a magnet in here that oscillates. It plugs in a speaker wire um, just as a normal speaker, but you're connected to the vibration. So sound and vibration is literally pulsating <clears> through <throat> every cell in your body. What this does is it literally sends a trigger to every muscle in your body telling it to relax, overrides the brain and the nervous system response from your brain and literally tells the muscles to relax, resets the nervous system from sympathetic to parasympathetic. Uh, it helps with lactic acid buildup. It helps with recovery. It literally tells your body to relax and it takes about 15 minutes or so average session is 22 minutes but after about 15 minutes those chemical cascades start to kick in and you immediately feel more calm more relaxed you slow down and given those same stimuli whether it's my daughter or whether it's my, my, my wife or it's something that i did or something that happened at work you're better equipped to handle those situations and to do so by staying cool calm and collected instead of getting triggered instead of triggering your nervous system into that fight or flight, into that high stress response. And, um, and it does wonders for the adrenals because mm -hmm. you're literally overriding. If your adrenals are shot, if your adrenals are overworked, um, if those hormones aren't flowing right in your body, now all of a sudden the vibroacoustics and the vibration is sending those triggers to your nervous system, telling it to relax. And the longer you can stay in that state, the better off you're going to be at life, whether you're working out, whether you're bodybuilding or whether you're just being a mom or a dad or, or, a, or a significant other, whatever it might be. Yeah, I just thought that you brought that up because I think the adrenal glands are really misunderstood just for me in the world of fitness. And it, uh, and that cortisol like helps it make, makes you have belly fat. And a lot of people can be, have that area, especially when you're older. And it's just all your stress just t tends to go to this, 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 that area. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's just something I think that you, I, 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 you don't hear enough about adrenals and how important they are in your system and weight loss and being healthy. And, so. It's all of it. I mean, you hit the nail on the head, right? Sleep is so important. As a biohacker, as somebody that's focused on optimal human performance, I'm clearly not a bodybuilder, but I certainly do work out and I certainly do take <clears> care <throat> of myself. We, we really covet our sleep here in this house. My wife, myself, my, even my daughter, my daughter's two and a half years old. She sleeps 12 hours a night, like straight through. And, and it's the most remarkable thing ever. And it's one of the best things that we can do to help ourselves recover. We go through different brainwave states while we sleep. We go through these sleep cycles. They're 90 minute sleep cycles. 
And, mm -hmm. um, and it really gives your body the opportunity to reset itself. Mm -hmm. I think of it as um, kind of reorganizing the desk, right? Like all day long, we get all scattered. There's piles of papers everywhere. But at night, when you're sleeping and resting, your brain and your body, you're, you're not digesting food or you're digesting dinner from a few hours ago. Um, but you're focusing a lot of time and attention on recovery, on rejuvenation, and getting yourself prepared for another day. And um, sleep so important for the adrenals as well. Craig, I want to know a little bit so more where do we about get the meta. Hello. One at a time. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Josh. Um, the meditation cushion. So I was like checking it out today and I saw this testimonial about this lady who said that she felt like her nose vibrating and like just kind of like feeling like just vibrations all over the like her mm -hmm. head. And I was like caught like how how did you get to to making that product? Like how did that happen? So we've been in this space for six years. We made our, our sound lounge in November of 2016. Um, it's our Cadillac. There's four tactile transducers mm -hmm. You're laying down in it. Um, it retails for $5,600. It's not an inexpensive product. It takes an investment to get it. And, I, and we mm -hmm. appreciate that. And we're constantly trying to drive the cost down, which allows us to drive the retail price down. But we're also continually innovating. And we're also looking for ways to make this technology more approachable. I have, I now have a regular meditative practice. I didn't. For the longest time, I could not sit in a meditative. I couldn't sit cross-legged. I couldn't sit on the floor. It hurt my back. It hurt my knees. Um, and we were looking for a better way. So we designed the meditation cushion. We actually just got issued a design patent two months ago on the meditation cushion, which is sitting behind me. You sit up on top of it. Inside it is a tactile transducer that sits right underneath your root. So the reason her everything shakes is because this tactile transducer, you're literally sitting on it and it's sending the vibrations all the way up your spine. It's enough to make your teeth chatter, your earlobes move up and down. Um, but those vibrations and those sensations, this transducer responds between 20 hertz and 200 hertz. Just to put that in perspective, the human ear has a frequency range of 20 hertz up to 20,000 hertz. And that home stereo system, we're about movies and more here, that home stereo system, the subwoofer that you have in the home stereo system is typically 80 hertz and below. So we're talking about low level frequencies and there's study of that on our physiology. It's that low level vibration that gets everything starting to move. And when your entire body is moving in that same vibration, that's really when the magic starts to happen. Sitting in an 11 minute, 22 minute meditation where you're sitting in a very constant and regular vibration. It's different than um, say the bass of uh, a reggae track or hip hop or even house music. Um, these are long drone out bass notes. Uh, it's a type of music, a genre of music called microtonal. Um, it's almost like melodic <laughs> house music or think of a, a bass guitar versus a kick drum. And, and these long strums of that vibration, you're feeling it through literally every single cell in your body. And yeah. over prolonged periods of time, very much like a monk drops into a mantra, you're just kind of dropped <clears throat> into that frequency. And before you know it, the meditation, 22 minutes has gone by and you're, and you're ready to charge life, rejuvenated and rested. Wow, that's impressive. Interesting. Thank you, I appreciate Michael it. So look. Michael Moore, yeah. you're coming in. Hi, Michael. Oh, sorry. Hi, Michael. Hi, guys. Sorry, I was late. I had issues connecting in my car to school, so I ran to my car and it's picking up on my car uh, internet connection. So that's okay. Well, so Michael, it's sweets are popcorn. Sweets are gourmet popcorn. And the one thing I like about this, everybody mm -hmm. knows, I'm a popcorn whore, just like I'm an apple and a movie whore. But I didn't know about this pop. Very, very good. Oh, and how <coughs> I got this? All right, Michael. Go ahead, talk about Sweetser Gourmet and how it started. You know, Sweetser is a, uh, a creation of the pandemic, and I guess it's appropriate I'm on this show with the movies and more because it really came about <coughs> as a, uh, a byproduct of, uh, there we go, you're showing the bag. Uh, you used to have uh, friends over every week for uh, game night at our house, and when the pandemic hit, everyone stopped getting together, and a few months later, like, we want to keep getting together, so... My wife and I went about out a, a, a big screen and a projection system and, and outdoor heaters so we could start getting together to have pizza and watch movies out in the driveway. So, uh, and of course, since you're watching movies, at some point you got to get popcorn and started with microwave bags and then made some kettle corn. And then if you're a 
if you're a Los Angeles native or if you've been to Los Angeles, you know, the Arclight used to have their kettle or their uh, caramel corn, which uh, my wife and I would go every week and we'd love the movie, but we would get like a couple couple of containers of the, of the caramel corn and just devour it. And so I started to try to make their caramel corn, tr- try to recreate that for our home uh, home experience. And uh, eventually, eventually I got it right. And then I just got the bug. I'm like, I love doing this. I'm going to keep making popcorn. So I do it every week for the movies at our home. And then I started bringing it to school. I teach fifth grade. I've given it to the kids and all the people I work with. And everyone loved it. And I'm like, yeah, I'm proud of the business. I didn't get mine yet, but it's diff- there's different flavors. So how many different flavors do you have? How many different varieties have it? Too many. I, I don't want to be known as like the Fast and Robin. Flavors, but the original intent of it was I want to do something no one's doing flavor wise. And then I realized that's kind of foolish because people love caramel corn. Why wouldn't I make caramel corn? People love cheese. Why wouldn't I do that? But like the ones you're showing right there, like, I think it's a churro crunch. Uh, you know, I'm trying to be unique in the approach. So I, I make a caramel, I make a cheese, but you know, I make a uh, an everything bagel, white cheddar, which I think you've got over there. And, uh, you know, a chocolate jalapeno, which is my personal favorite. Ooh. And just uh, trying to push the bar of what, what gourmet can be for popcorn because most people that make caramel corn say they're gourmet awesome. i'm trying to actually make it so it's a gourmet experience they're like wow that's really good i've never had that before yeah i, I got like mine the, sorry go ahead yeah, the churro was good what i like is the texture it's not really hard and it's not really soggy or soft it's just mm-hmm. right the texture is perfect you I still get that crunch yeah. You know, as everyone here would talk about their areas of expertise, mm-hmm. you know, I knew nothing about popcorn other than I, I loved going to the, the theater, getting the big bucket, immediately pouring it into the extra container, getting my free refill so I'd have two giant buckets of popcorn to enjoy while I was watching the movie. Um, and I didn't realize there's all different types of popcorn. So like movie theater popcorn is a butterfly popcorn. The, the, the caramel corn is called a mushroom popcorn. It pops up in that nice big ball. So there's various types of popcorn, and each one is suited for the type of popcorn you're making. So yeah, I, when I grew corn. up. What was that? Oh, I just said when I grew up, um, oh, just a little, I, I remember, like, my favorite thing was the fiddle battle, which was that, the, I, I can't remember, it's been a long time since I've had it, but that's the, similar to the, the um, caramel, the caramel flavors. <laughs> right. So is that the one with the toy in it? The fiddle battle? I, I think there was a toy, yeah. That's Cracker Jacks that had the toy. Cracker Jacks. Well, that's Cracker Jacks. Fiddle battle was a little bit different than Cracker Jacks. Oh, right, right. Okay. Kind of okay. the same thing, yeah. Kind of close. Yeah. Well, that's the one that I had. No, I was going to say, because I got mine, um, my little box of goodies uh, a week ago. And let me tell you how like three of those bags lasted one day. Like <laughs> my mom okay. and grandma were literally like, they yeah. went ham with the, they love the, chur- the churro crunch. Oh my God. That was honestly one of my favorites. Yeah, the churro. Love- <gasps> yeah. It's so good. And I'm a very sweet, yeah. sweet person. And it was yeah. just like, I felt like I had a churro in my mouth. So I, I love that experience like i just i kind of had flashbacks to when i go to carnivals and i get churros so it was really nice uh to get that from your popcorn thank you and I'm, it's, yeah, again i got my bag i got my goodies in too mm-hmm. and if you if what? you didn't get them you know i'm sure uh brian can forward me your email or your uh, your addresses and i can send you a, a collection mm-hmm. of them yeah, I think I'm the only one who didn't get it yet. <laughs> so I'm, I'm really anxious to try it. I love popcorn. So, so like the churro, you can get churro popcorn. It's, it's you know, over well in but, my mouth too. But Ugh. mine is a caramelized. So it's like eating caramel mm-hmm. corn as a churro and then wow. a little bit of cinnamon toast crunch cereal on there because who doesn't love mm-hmm. that? Yes, yeah, I that did see amazing. that. Oh my God, I did see that and I was like, whoa, something escaped into this, into this bag. It looks like a cinnamon <laughs> toast crunch. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> Tosh, why you tell them who you are, followed by Rachel. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. So I'm I'm based in Miami, but I'm a urban Latin singer. Uh, 
just like Michael, my music career started in the pandemic. Um, that's when I, you know, got all my cards right. And I was like, you know what, this is the time to like explore music and like start writing my own music. And it's been honestly one of the greatest blessings and decisions I've ever done. So I'm, I'm the, the pandemic definitely did give my music love again and it gave me a purpose in life so uh i invite you guys to listen to my music it's all um, very fun dance pop music uh it's all spanish so it makes you want to dance and you can you know uh, relax and kind of like get away from like whatever is happening in the world and kind of just you know have a good time so yeah that's that's me natasha rumbos Rachel, tell them about your cooking. Natasha, I love your, I love your music. I love it. Yeah, well, I love your music, and I got to. I don't know Spanish, but I get on and just like you know. <laughs> I don't even have Spanish. I get down with it. All right, so I am Rachel Roberts. I'm in Houston, Texas, and um, I'm a chef and a co-host for. Okay, Rachel. So um, every week I like to cook something. Rachel, did we lose you? Before. Can you hear me? Yeah, you're good. Back on. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Anyway, this week I made seared salmon topped with a Creole etouffee. But you know, my whole thing is eat clean and drink a little dirty. Okay, so this um, topping for the seared salmon. It's, it's an etouffee, which most people make with flour, but I don't do flour. It's too much carbs, too much, you know, whatever. So I, um, but to get thick, the gravy consistency, I, um, I blend and to add fiber, I blend chia and flax and that helps thicken it. So it's, I mean, and it's delicious. I have people that have come over and they've tried my etouffee and they're like, Oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> so yeah. So anyway, that's, that's what I made to eat. And you know, drink a little dirty. Rachel, show it to us again. Yummy. Yeah. Today oh, is blackberry. Now the blackberry, I'm using Yao. Guys, this is so, it's a sea moss drink. If, if you never, I never had, I just got introduced to this a couple weeks ago. It's got all these things that are good for you and good for your body. Look it up, sea moss. Anyway, so this is the berry, and I mixed it with Prosecco. I've got some pomegranate, some basil. The basil, it's, 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 a, it's a healthy cocktail. <laughs> Terry's like, no, 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 no. I don't know. Um, I'm training for I'm training for a right now, I so I can't drink. Can't drink. Rachel, show us that food again. Let me see it. I want to see it. I want to see that food again. Dessert salmon topped with like an etouffee. It's got crawfish and shrimp and then, you know, like a Creole sauce. It's delicious. Delicious and healthy. Very healthy. So, yeah. Everybody got the balance seven and drinking all that. Oh, yeah. Three times balance seven. There it is. I should go get mine. Mine is like a really big jug. <laughs> I have the whole jug. Yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Oops, here, here we go. If you guys I'm, have not tried balance seven, yes. No, I'm trying it. Expect I'm to in my like. My old, my, uh, my but coach it's, it's so has good always for had you. me drink. My yeah. coach has always had me drink, have alcohol diet. And so this is helping me um, with my training. It's, yeah, but it's we weren't doing it right. We weren't doing it right. Now we are doing it right. This, this is the good stuff. <laughs> but also with so, the greens that right? you have, um, which I'm taking now too, those, uh, those help alkaline your body. And those are very important. I mean, you know, just very important to keep your body 
healthy. I mean, you always need to eat your vegetables, even though you're drinking your vegetables, but it's really hard to eat all the, all the vitamins that you need from all your fruits and your vegetables is really hard to get all at once. That's why it's really good to take the greens, um, mm -hmm. you know, in the morning. I like to take it in the morning on an empty stomach. But, and then with, and sometimes I put it in my protein shake. Yes. Too. Um, so and a lot Me of too. times, what yeah, it's after the, working yeah, out, you're talking about the vitamins that you got. Out, because after working out is when you want to have your protein shake because your body needs to absorb all those minerals and the protein and all that. So I'll take a scoop of my protein powder and then I'll put the greens in there and then drink that immediately after my workout. And it, it's amazing how you feel. I love, yeah, I love the vitamins. Sorry, Did you see the, you the, the green that he has? I'm supposed to be. Oh, <laughs> anyway, I think it really does. I've, I've been with Brian for over seven years um, as a co-host. Um, yeah. I am a red carpet um, ah. inter interview. I've been doing that for, for several years. Um, also a fitness competitor. And now I'm an artist. I'm creating my own NFT series um, called Conspiracy Farm um, that is uh, launched on Open Seas. If you want to check out that collection. Um, I'm also, I also do some acting. I'm going to be in a couple of videos they're going to be released in either January or February for um, Wicked Star. Um, so, and I like to, I like 80s rock music. So I like to do 80s rock music videos on TikTok. So um, I just, you know, I'm, I keep myself pretty busy. And um, now I'm going to be <clears throat> working as an affiliate with a company called Lumi, which is a machine. Um, and I'm going to start doing videos on it. It's a machine to um, monitor your metabolism. So it's going to help me with my training, um, with my next fitness competition to make sure that my metabolism is on track. So along with the water, with the Lumi, and then, you know, trying to de-stress. And my goal this year is to learn how to meditate because I have, I, I, I'm not very good at it. And I, I need, that's one of the things I would like to incorporate into my fitness routine is just to take some time to just de-stress myself and, and do that meditation. Talking about meditation, Craig, mm -hmm. question for you. So I know you have an app. Oh, am I muted? Okay. No, so I know you have an, okay. Okay. So I know you have an app with like in harmony and you get it once you get um one of like the products. How do you choose which uh you know songs or vibrations or specific frequencies? What are, how can you kind of explain it super short that can yeah. kind of give us an idea of how you <laughs> choose it or or um... yeah, you you got it. First of all, there are no bad frequencies, okay. right? So it, it's not like you can do harm. Now, there are disharmonic frequencies, and we all know when a song comes on that we don't like, right? That's somebody loves it, right? Obviously, the musician who makes it loves it. Mm -hmm but it doesn't resonate for us. So not a bad frequency, it just doesn't resonate with us. And frequencies are the same way. Uh, in our app, we have uh, 225 different tracks. Uh, I have a director of harmonics. His name is Anthony Weiss. He's an incredible musician for 23 years. He can play just about every instrument. He's also a digital mu music producer and he masters music. So he's at the helm of controlling all of our music. And we talk almost every single day about what types of music and frequencies. We started with the solfeggio frequencies. If you're not familiar with them, S-O-L-F-E-G-G-I-O, -G -G solfeggio. And this is a series of frequencies and tones that has a ton of research done behind it, uh, specific to different parts of your physiology, um, your physical body, your, uh, your heart, your um, uh, connecting to your higher self and, and associated each sophisio frequency associates to a different chakra in the body as well. So there's lots of correlations there as well. Um, the reality is you can't go wrong. What I tell people is start with our original in harmony music. We have a bunch of collaborations with artists as well. We also have music focused on the specific chakra. So if you're flipping through and you like a tile, like the way it looks, click it, listen to it. If it resonates with you, listen to it again. Listen to that track over and over again until you feel like you've worked through something. So um, there's lots of different ways that you can work through our app. Uh, you can do it by the way you're feeling. You can do it by specific intention. Regardless of what track you choose, and I'll wrap with this, your intention before you sit down on the meditation cushion or even you don't need our tech to listen to the, to the music. You need a set of headphones or just a, a speaker on your iPhone. The bigger the speaker, the better the headphones, the more value you're going to get out of it. But you can download our app right now, IamInHarmony.com. Look for a link towards our app. Find it in the iTunes uh, or uh, the Android App Store. In Harmony Music Meditations is the name of the, 
uh, of the app and uh, and start listening. All right. Well, I'm going to do that. I thought it was only, I love it. Love it. Sorry. Go ahead, Brian. I'm so excited about this. Hey, I'm happy to admit. Hey, Howard, talk about what we did this weekend and who you are because you deal with a stressful situation also. Well, actually, I, uh, my life's about to change. I got news from my agent that there's a TV series going to star. And I'm going to start with a big person. I won't say who they are, but they're oh, uh, initial in WG, and it's a woman. So uh, if you can figure that out, I, we'll go from there. And then I'm going to be making a movie in Hollywood who's going to go take care of me, and that's coming up soon. So uh, it was funny. I went for National Women's in Film, and they had a card reader there. And she said my life was going to, I was going to get news and it was going to change within three months. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, so I keep your fingers crossed. Wow. I got the news. I just, just doesn't seem real yet because I'm not there. But anyway, and then Brian and I went to the National mm-hmm. Women in Film and we uh, launched the Judy Garland fragrance. We went to Dickens Christmas. We went to three events plus a party. Uh, it was it was amazing. Uh, Jenny Jackson wore a beautiful red dress that auctioned off for ten thousand dollars, but she looked like a million dollars in it, and that's all on the uh, Facebook. And uh, it, it was it was a fun time. The fragrance smells wonderful. Of course, you all have that fragrance and know. And we just had a blast. So. Mm-hmm. That dress that Jenny was wearing, was that like a- And Howard got a chance to do with you too. I didn't understand. Was the dress like an original from Judy Garland, the one that she was wearing? Uh, it was a, uh, It was just a Judy Garland's dress in Meet Me in St. Louis was red. It was the same shade of red, but it wasn't the same style. It was just a uh, the artist's interpretation of a dress that she wore. It was actually- Really, it was beautiful. beautiful. I saw the pictures. Yeah, yeah they oh, was really pretty. Yeah, and she had she fit in it like a dream. <laughs> so, this beautiful. Great. Also, I would have showed that if I had your chair, I would have showed your chair because we used to showing things here. If that makes sense. I I, I wish I could send all of you a chair. It's it's just not possible. But uh, yeah. but it is possible <laughs> if we all try it. Um, and that's for certain. Howard, we have a sound lounge in Nashville. I was actually just following all of you, which is why I was looking oh, down. Wow. Um, so there's lots of opportunity for us to get cool. connected. Terry, you said something that I just want to touch on, and that is that you want to start meditating more. And I think that's most of the people that are listening to this show right now. I think it's most of the people out there. We all hear about the benefits. Hoda's is talking about it on the Today Show. Everybody's talking about meditation, meditation, right? And everybody's like, I can't meditate. I can't sit down. I can't turn off my mind and think about nothing. That just doesn't seem possible. And and that's the reality for most of us. For most of us, we're stuck in a beta brainwave. We're stuck in a go, 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 especially the folks that are here, eight type personalities getting after it. We have a long to-do list. There's never enough time to get all the things done that we need to do. For me to sit down and do nothing just seems super unproductive. But the reality is, just as you said, Terry, sitting down to do nothing allows your body, mind, and spirit to clear its head. And when you're cool, calm, and collected, you're much more effective at doing whatever you need to do. So it doesn't take hours. You're not a monk sitting, you know, in the forest meditating for eight hours a day. That to me sounds super unproductive, but a nice vacation nonetheless. Instead, (laughs) taking 11 minutes to sit down on a meditation cushion or listen to a music meditation, just to take a few deep breaths and kind of clear your head, sets yourself up for success in the future. When you get on our tech, the beauty of what we do is that We say on our website, say goodbye to a distracted mind. It's kind of misleading. The sounds and the music, the vibration distracts your mind. So the only instruction when you're on our tech is to lose yourself in the music. Something that's really easy, I think, for Tosh and and the music lovers that are listening. But we lose ourselves in the music all the time. And the reality is when you're doing that, you're actually dropping into a meditative state. You're dropping into an alpha brainwave state, which is a target meditative state. And you're actually bringing your body, mind and spirit into harmony with the environment around you. Um, so a very powerful practice and one that can be fun and one that literally anybody can do. My meditation cushion can quite literally teach anybody how to drop into that meditative state. And then you no longer need 
the meditation cushion. You'll still use it because it's fun and it feels good and has physical benefits. But when you're driving on your route and all of a sudden there's traffic, instead of cursing at the people in front of you and telling the person to go, 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 go. Instead, you're going to roll down the windows, turn on a good tune and just kind of chill out and relax your way through it. We all know how, given the same input, we can react differently to it. When you have mindfulness and meditation as a regular practice, you drop into that meditative state much faster, much easier, and in and, and, and much more average situations day to day. Craig, where's the one in Nashville? You know, Third Pyramid. Third Pyramid? Third Pyramid. Yeah, it's oh, a cool. facility right down, right in the middle of Nashville. Okay, Nashville. I'll go. I'll go. I've you know, like every now and then I will be be on a TikTok or on one of these things and I'll hear this doom and it tells you if you play this or whatever so long it'll and but when my brain hears that do you know what I'm talking about yeah you if you're scrolling through TikTok yeah. scrolling through Instagram every now and then you'll see and it says click here and you play it and it's like a song bowl it's like doom, yeah. And yeah so here's my whole body just goes like yeah. So there's, there's a few things that are happening there. First of all, I said this before, and it's worth repeating. Your intention is really important. So set and setting is really important. And when you're, when this is your set and setting scrolling through, right, you're, uh -huh. you're being pulled into it by sound and frequency. I can tell you if you were to scroll to YouTube or open up my app or go to Spotify, you can find us on Spotify too. search in harmony. Oh, and you yeah. say, I'm going to sit down for the next 10 minutes and I'm going to lose myself in this music track. You'll drop even deeper. So if that's what happened, it's what, what's happening, Rachel, while you're scrolling through and all of a sudden you hear something and you stop on it. And it's a beautiful picture of a beautiful landscape. And all of a sudden you're like, oh, that reminds me of when I was in Switzerland frolicking with whatever. And you drop into that moment and then the frequencies in the music and you just feel like you kind of zone into that picture for a little while. That sound and frequency mm -hmm. and its power on your brain, dropping you into that alpha brainwave state, taking you back into that memory and um, and taking you yes. back to that place where you were again. It's, it's really quite relaxing. Yes, yes. Music power. Hey, Michael, we're in the award season right now. Talk about yes. what it's like to have your popcorn out there because Los Angeles, everybody's screening every, uh, you know, for your consideration award, music, all the parties are going on. Talk about that. Wouldn't you like to have your popcorn out there? Well, talk to me in a year or two, because I think uh, I should be custom uh, making bags for every movie premiere that takes place in this town, because uh, there isn't a better popcorn out there. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still in the I'm still in the growing phase. I know, like last year, I made uh, I don't want to say that. I guess I could say I don't know. Uh, I made a couple hundred bags for one of the hotels in Hollywood's Oscar party. I'm hoping they'll, they'll hit me up again this year. But uh, I'm kind of still focused on my day job, which is teaching, and I'm doing like the, the baby steps. If we're quoting Bill Murray from uh, What About Bob, I'm baby stepping my way through this. And uh, so I try to pick up one thing, do it really well, get another gig. So uh, we'll, we'll have this conversation again in the future, and we'll be talking about how have your Oscar parties been here for my, uh, my popcorn. Kudos to you, Michael. Kudos to you, yeah. brother. For now, Mark, I'll just enjoy it while I'm, uh, while I'm watching all the contenders. Well, let's. I have a request for a popcorn. <laughs> yes. I want a dark chocolate almond popcorn. That can be done. I've, in fact, right now I've got a dark chocolate coconut. Mm, oh. That I like. And I have done I have done a chocolate almond espresso <laughs> popcorn, which is delicious. Ooh. So uh, my my problem is that I'm not a giant company right now. Uh, so if I make too many flavors, I end up with too much that isn't sold. And all those niche flavors, as amazing as they are, you can you, you can you open doors to those niche flavors once people know your product. And right now I'm still an unknown. But uh, I how do you I, sell I like your to, product, Michael? I I'm literally I'm at a market every Sunday. That market has led me to uh, Taj, which is a five-star hotel in Beverly Hills. They serve my popcorn to all their guests. Uh, I just got a call from the Hollywood Roosevelt to please make them for uh, a VIP guest this Friday. And you're in LA. Uh, I'm in a, I'm in a, one candy shop in LA called Tuesday Sweet Shop. But I have intentionally not tried to grow my business too fast. But I know I'm committed to the year of teaching fifth grade. And as much as I want to be overwhelmed, 
I go ahead and want to babysit it until I can uh, until I can go all in. Do you sell so online? I, and I sell it. I sell on my on my website. You can buy uh, select flavors that I list. I don't. Uh, then I do my little niche flavors in the market all the time. Um, and then I've got one gig I can't mention, but if it comes through, it'll, it'll blow website? me up, and I might have to quit my job. What's that? <laughs> Your website. Uh, www.sweetsorgourmet.com. Awesome. I, I respect the game. Look, this is a six year build for us too. Um, mm -hmm. it, I feel like uh, six year overnight success because a lot of people are really interested in what we're doing right now. If there was anything the pandemic did, it threw everybody into a tailspin with mm -hmm. mental health and, and stress and anxiety. And, uh, and, and uh, I just, I really appreciate the growth and what it means to do it bootstrapped and organically and, um, anyway, I've got, I always have lots and, of and questions it's fun to look back at year one and see where you were and be like, Oh my goodness, I can't believe what we had to deal with. It's absolutely <laughs> remarkable. We just had a record breaking November. We did more in, in last, last month than we did our first two years of business. So, I mean, it was pretty remarkable when you start to think back and look back on what it looked like and who we were and what we were doing then in a garage, making this tech. And now obviously yep. we got a three PL and, and yeah, right. Totally. So I can nice. appreciate that. I was kind of, I got thrown off and I wanted to add something to everything because, you know, one of the things I was thinking about the pandemic, which I think that some people don't realize that add stress is that we're too addicted to these and um, it's making people, I think a little bit more ADD because your attention span, um, if you notice like it, it, cause I do marketing also um, that people's attentioning span has gotten shorter since we're on our phones and we're, you know, I, you know, more reliant on, on WebExes and that. And it's, I, I think that might be another reason why a lot of people are having problems with that. Meeting. I think it might be one of the reasons I'm having issues with it because so I, we're so used to this digital world and this short attention span and it just, you can't relax. So to that end, um, mm -hmm. I, and, and look, this is something that I study also. Look, I, I have the AirPods. I wear the Apple watch. Mm -hmm. I've got two cell phones in front of me and, and a computer and multiple screens and, and I get it. I have a saying, and that is technology got us into this mess. Technology can get us out. Mm -hmm, uh, don't exactly. get me wrong. Saying no to all the technology, which would obviously um, not allow us to do what we're doing right now from all of the magical places that we're doing it. So technology is something I think we really need to embrace. Look, if you can get away and get into nature, take off mm -hmm. the Apple Watch and go spend time, you know, mm -hmm. hiking Runyon Canyon or getting off into the Hollywood Hills or wherever it is. Howard's got amazing nature near him in Nashville. Mm -hmm. Right. Like go do that. Um, uh, the, the forest, major bodies of water, they all carry a 10 hertz frequency. So mm -hmm. there's really something to be said as we drop into the resonant frequency for the human body is about 10 hertz. The resonant frequency of the planet Earth is the Schumann resonance. Uh, it's measured at about 10 hertz. It's at it, 7.83 hertz, but it fluctuates and it gets quite up. The average is about 10 hertz. Um, getting off into nature, 10 hertz. Dropping into that alpha brainwave state that we talked about is the beginning of the meditative brainwave state. It's where creativity begins. Uh, rejuvenation begins. That resonance frequency is, is 10 hertz. So getting into that meditative frequency, however you can do it, whether it's on my meditation cushion, whether it's taking a walk outside, whether it's laying out and just staring at the sky, whatever, getting into that resonant frequency brings your mind, body, and spirit into what's called harmonic resonance with the planet mm -hmm. around us. And technology can absolutely help us to get us there. Mm -hmm. um, and as, as you pointed out so eloquently, technology can also hurt us if we let it run rampant and if we don't keep it in check. I sleep every night with my phone in airplane mode. I make sure it's charging more than three feet away from me because these phones, even when they're charging, they give off quite an electromagnetic uh, uh, okay. energy signature. So I give myself at least six to eight hours, sometimes 10 or 12 hours a day without any um electronics around me so it's mm -hmm. a big part of that balance terry very very astute yeah i mean i've been trying to help run her. without i've been trying to run without um any because i live in redonda beach like right by the ocean so i've been trying to do exactly what you said i've been trying to like take walks and leave my phone at home so i'm not distracted so i can enjoy the nature and i'm not distracted by my phone it's calling me. and it's very hard for us to just to put it down for like just maybe put it down for 20 minutes and just enjoy nature you yeah. know how many times you go to dinner with somebody and you're everybody's on the phone like this and you're not even having a conversation so i'm trying to be a more aware of that 
you know, because I don't want to get rid of my technology, but I want to be able to say, you know, I can walk away from it for 20, 30 minutes a day and be okay, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Hey, everyone. Sorry to interrupt. I have a school event. We got a fifth graders coming to do a debate of the <laughs> issues. It got bumped up to like in three minutes. So I got to go join all these kids and get them situated. But it was great talking to you and hearing all your stories. And uh, again, if you didn't get popcorn, just somehow get me your address and I'll send you some. And uh, we'll all the viewers, <laughs> sweetser.com. Give you a website. Thank you. So thank you very much. Thank I enjoyed you, this. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Michael. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Rachel, go ahead. That popcorn was delicious, right? Yeah, everybody. Yeah, if you did, <laughs> the popcorn is good stuff. My grandma already okay, asked um, me to yeah, get her yeah. that for so, Christmas. Um, you know, <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah. You know what? The churro was the favorite in my house too. Yeah, yeah. She's like, you better, you better put that on there. there. <laughs> oh, that was good too. Yeah, it was like hot Cheetos. Mm -hmm. It was fantastic. So good. You know, um, Terry, I wanted to, right, Rachel, to talk a little bit more about, you know, the, um, the, the Dr. Noristani's, his, the creams. Have you, have you started those on your face? I don't have the creams. I just have the greens and the vitamins and the water. I don't have the, the lotions, but yeah, I would like to try those to see how those Well, let me tell work. you, when I started it, he, he was telling me, Rachel, this is like the Band-Aid in between the Botox. And I get Botox every three months on clockwork and I'm oh, look, I'm still doing good. This stuff is amazing. You have to try, you have to tell him you need, no, no look, you can see movement, but you can't, it's right now, now I'm usually a sharp pay. <laughs> so I'm telling you, this stuff works. Well, this stuff is well awesome. it's, uh, it's, it's not just the balance seven, it's not just the vitamins. The, the creams are incredible. And you know what? He's He's got this gel you put on your eyes and you, it's the weirdest thing. You, you watch in the mirror and it's like, and it tightens everything up. So before you do your regular events and go interviewing people, you sh that's when you, you, you want to use that. I mean, it's, yeah. <laughs> well, anyhow. You know. We, we definitely that. want people to order yeah. Balance 7, uh, which is actually and, and Howard, I'm going to give you a last word, give you social media links and everything like that. Craig, I'll probably see you at the Olympia because I'm going tomorrow. Awesome. Howard, well, Howard Wiggins Facebook. Oh, and everybody uh, watch Coffee Talk. Yeah. Sorry. Go on, just Howard. How this Howard Wiggins Facebook, I have three of them. The one where I change my picture all the time is the one I want you to follow. <laughs> and you'll see me dancing. You'll see that red dress we were talking about that Jenny Jackson wore. And I'll keep you entertained. Heck yeah. And how talk about dance and the art we met real quickly. I didn't understand. You broke up, Brian. I think he said how to talk about the dancing and the artists that we met really quickly. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think. What? What? what uh, well, I'm talking about Jenny Ford. No, no, no. The stuff that we did this past weekend. Talk about the artists. The artists we met last this past weekend. The artists. Oh, you talking about Jenny? The you you'll have to tell it. I'm 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 forgetting. It all went like in a blur. <laughs> you have to tell it, Brian. We will get to this. We'll talk about it next week. All right, okay. Craig, you get the last word. Kasha, give you a social media. Go ahead. I really appreciate you, and uh, my website's right there. I am in And uh, if you have any questions, I respond to the phone number that's at the bottom. All of our social media. I appreciate y'all having me here. Thank you so very much. Have a beautiful, blessed night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tosh, go ahead. Oh, I thought we were done. Sorry. Uh, so you can find <laughs> me 
at Vocally Tosh on all social media platforms. Uh, my website is natashabrumbosmusic.com. And make sure to listen to my latest single, Dime Una Cosa. It's on YouTube, music video. Uh, yeah, keep on cranking that up on Spotify, Apple Music, all those streaming platforms. Great. Terry, real quick, and Rachel again. Go ahead. Uh, my um, social media is all Terry Marie nonstop on uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, TikTok, and then my website with my interviews and my fitness stuff is terrymarieofficial.com. And Rachel. And Rachel, do we get to? No, Rachel Roberts recipes. Uh, um, yeah. And with that, as I always say, have a good night tonight, a better day tomorrow. And if you see someone without a smile, please give them one of yours. I'm Brian Sebastian. This is Movie Reviews and More, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>